People are prepping now more than ever. And in the worst economic climate since the Great Depression, Americans are in budget like never before. How can you be prepared for pennies? That's where we come in. 20 Bucks or Less starts now. Hey guys, welcome to 20 Bucks or Less. Bill here with a quick survival hack. Now you're gonna see some pictures on your screen right now. As all of us preppers and survivalists and DIY guys know, the ultimate in a survival knife is one of these. A knife that has a sheath with a built-in pouch that you can stack in a uh, any kind of supplies that you want, whether it be a micro first aid kit or a knife, a knife sharpening stone or even uh, another tool of sorts. But the problem with that is this. The cheapest I've been able to find one has been $50. And that's for the crappy ones, the ones that have half a star rating on Amazon. Now, some of the better ones can cost up to $450, $500. What I'm here to do is to show you how to do this for 20 bucks or less. Now, what you're gonna need is a knife similar to this one. Now, this is Bud K's version of a K-Bar. Uh, they change the name to market it different all the time. Uh, but basically, it doesn't have to be this particular knife, which has been a really wonderful knife, by the way. I can't wait to get a review done on this one. But the sheath is what we're more worried about today. The sheath itself is that plastic Kydex. And what you're going to need is any knife that comes with something like this with the belt loops in it right there. Okay. And all of us preppers and survivalists know what this is a Mosin ammo pouch. Let me explain. Okay, so as I said, let's take the knife. We're gonna set it aside. It's not even really needed right now. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've learned to do. You're going to take your Mosin ammo pouch. Now, unfortunately with this particular sheath, the loops for the ammo pouch do not line up in these tough, World War II Russian leather ammo pouches just have no give, they have nothing to work with. But fear not, friends. All you have to do is take the top one, get it through, take the second one, pull it over like so. Like I said, folks, this is pretty stuff to pretty pretty tough to work with, but you can do it. And as soon as I say that, oh, there we go. Voila. Now, if it's good enough for the Soviets in World War II to defeat the Nazis, it's good enough for me. Now, it only does have one secure lock right there, but folks, I'm here to tell you, it ain't going nowhere. It's not going anywhere at all. Now, not only do you have one, but two pockets to put things in, okay? Now, is it waterproof like some of the $450 versions? No, but guys, sandwich bags are a buck. Not a problem. You can do anything you want to at this point. Uh, I have a can of Altoids, but a lot of people like the Altoid Survival 10s. Those fit in there just fine. And once again, once you snap the Mosin and ammo pouch in place, it ain't going nowhere. And if you want to, uh, a multi-tool flashlight. By the way, this is a cool little flashlight I picked up at Walmart on the clearance rack for two bucks. It's uh, Life Gear. It's uh, pretty bright. And also, you press it a second time, you've got the red light, press it a third time, flashing red light, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, we'll do another video on that one. But anyway, throw that in there, you know, and just, you know, the possibilities are endless, folks. That's why this is a very cool survival hack. Now, the knife itself, with the sheet that we talked about, these run, I've seen them on Amazon go from anywhere from $7 to $14. Okay, Mosin ammo, 
uh, Mosin Nagant ammo pouches, a dollar at just about any store. Uh, online, you're gonna pay more for shipping than you will the ammo pouch. But any gun store, you can pick these up for a buck. So there you have it, folks. A almost the same thing that you would pay $450 for for less than 20 bucks. Uh, this is just a, something I actually, actually, I figured this out by accident because, you know, us survivalists and preppers were DIY guys. I wanted one of the $450 ones, but this, I mean, like I said, the only real drawback is it's not completely waterproof, but you take your Altoid survival can, your matches, flashlight, put them in Ziploc sandwich bags, and you're good to go. So with this survival hack on building a knife with a survival kit, pouch, thingamabob, whatever you want to call it. With this survival hack, I'm Bill with 20 bucks or less reminding you, shop smarter, not harder.